Grief Encounter have supported me and Floss for many years now. When Floss was four, her dad um, died. He took his own life. And when he first died, I chose, um, with the support of Grief Encounter, not to tell Floss exactly how he had died. So I spoke to her about him having something wrong with his head um, and that the doctors couldn't make him better. And as time went on and grief changed and she got older, um, by the age of six, I talked to Floss about how Jamie died. Um, as soon as I had done that, I came to Grief Encounter for more support. I wanted Floss to grieve in the right way and knowing the full truth about how her dad died. Um, through then the next year to 18 months, Floss had one-to-one um, -one art therapy. She came to group um, meetings, group support, fun days out, and we went on the residential weekend. And Floss went from a very shy little girl who was unable to talk about her dad dying to a very brave, confident, resilient little girl who held her head up high and will now have conversations with anybody about her dad and the fact that her dad has died. I'm not sure how, where me and Floss would be right now if it wasn't for Grief Encounter. I as a mum could only do and give Floss so much and I think my focus from when Jamie died was to support Floss in the best way that I could, especially her mental health, considering that her dad had taken his own life. Floss's mental health means everything to me and her happiness means everything to me and Grief Encounter have helped me to shape Floss into the little girl that she is today. Without them I know that I wouldn't have been able to support her in the same way. I can't give her the support of other children that have been through similar experiences as herself. I couldn't give her art therapy. I can't give her rooms of children that have been in similar experiences. And I know that that is a huge part of why Floss is who she is today and extremely emotionally resilient.